plants are constantly saving each other's lives. Whenever you step out on a field, you're actually stepping on thousands of biological phone lines that are connecting plants to each other. Through these phone lines, these plants exchange water, nutrients, and they text like hell, worse than teenagers. Well, these biological phone lines, they're actually fungi that live in symbiosis with these plants, and they facilitate this kind of communication. But why? Well, plants, they can't move. They cannot run away from danger. So they need to find ways to warn each other, to say, hey, mate, be ready. Something's coming your way, and something's about to rage. When I started this PhD, I wanted to know why, and I wanted to know how. So how do these plants do this? And to do that, I made one plant very sad. I attacked it, and it started sending messages across its network and saying to the other ones, I'm being attacked. You should also prepare, because it is coming. So I tried to measure what was happening in one plant, what was happening underground, and what's happening on the other plant, and which language are they actually speaking? I could not really find that out yet, but it seems like it is a matter of perception. Much like humans, when we're stressed, other people can understand that we are stressed. So it seems like one plant gets stressed, these biological phone lines, in turn, sensing this plant's stress, also get stressed. And the microbes around them in the soil also get stressed. And all of this is perceived by the connecting on neighboring plants, which says, oh damn, what am I going to do? How am I going to act? This is all super cool, if you're me, but so what? What can we do as a society? How can we benefit from it? Well, if we can understand how plants do this and how plants get this network and this signaling and this talk going, we can harvest it. We can use it. Because if plants are actually saving each other's lives, we may not really need to do it ourselves. And we still need to feed the world by 2050, right? So these life-saving plants who are preparing for war they can just save themselves, and we can rest assured that we might not even have to worry about it. And feeding ourselves is a given. <laughs>